Oh, what are you doing? You stroking some guts? Some guts? Ooh, Ooh, ickies! There's gross worms and maggies. Look, see the little maggies and the wormies crawling on him. Look. <laughs> Welcome back to Dead Space uh, Part Two of the Let's Play. Let's Play Dead Space Part Two. That's what you're watching. Goodies? Give me goodies. This bitch is giving goodies. Once she just kills over properly, there we go. We now have Kinesis, which allows you to pick shit up and move it around magically using the Force. Or whatever kind of uh, future technology allows you to do so. But it's pretty goddamn cool, and I don't know why everyone in the world wouldn't have one of these things. Just like, oh, what's that over there? I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, let me fucking shoot it across the room. As far as combat goes, it sucks shit compared to the second one. Because in the second one, you could, like, rip people's limbs off and stuff, and... Like, actually throw their limbs across the room like, uh, like spikes and fucking harpoon people. You can't do that in the first one. <clears throat> oh my god, I got a wheelie in my throat. Oh shit, Hammond, what's up? Oh man, dude, he lost Kendra. This guy's, this guy's fucking intense. Yeah, we will. Yeah, they did. I'm looking at it. It's barricaded, bro. Get some thermite from medical store. Do I really have to blow through this though? Like this? Should Look at it. It looks like I could kick this fucking thing and the whole thing would fall over. Why do I gotta go get explosives to blow it up? Seems a it seems a bit much, but you know what? Again, Hammond's in charge. She's the guy that has a voice actor. Isaac does not, so he's got no say in the matter. Just wait an hour and a half for this door to open. Just fucking hanging out. There we go. At this point, the game decides to tell me that I can use the right bumper to fucking alternate fire my weapons. Thanks, game. Don't tell me that in chapter one when I, you know, get a gun. That would have been useful. Seriously, first time I played this, didn't do it all chapter one. How was I supposed to know? What, I'm just gonna push every fucking button in the world? No, I don't got time to do that. Grab some Stacy. Uh, believe it or not, shit's probably gonna go down soon. It usually does whenever there's Stacy nearby. That's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the, like, the giveaway of like, oh shit, there's gonna be a million guys if there's stasis. And if there isn't, then it's not. Oh, did I ever buy a node? Yeah, I did. Dude, I was thinking ahead last part. Don't mind me, just walking through. Oh, shoot. Dude, what's in this? Hang on, I'm looking at a microscope here. Oh god! Oh fuck, that was like an $8,000 microscope. There's also guys all around me. Oh my god, oh god. Well, that was unfortunate. I thought that other guy was a lot closer. Check out some long gun action! Oh, there's another dude behind me, isn't there? That's alright, keep moving, keep moving and grooving! Oh, dear God, it scared me. Oh, God, that flashing light, it's so flashy. Oh, oh, oh my God. Fuck, I can't see shit. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there's another guy behind me. Was he, he looks like he's trying to run out the door. Don't be fucking running, bro. Don't be running. Like, the other guy can run out the door. I meant this guy. Don't run at me. Look at him. He's just hanging out. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Anybody else? Anybody else? No? No? Whoa! Whoa! What? Oh, God. It's scary as shit in here. All right. Let's head on over to this sucker. He's just doing something. I don't know where the hell he's going. I, uh, did he think he was hiding? He's like, boo! I was... Oh, God! He saw me! <laughs> These guys are dropping a shitload of ammo, which is pretty fucking generous. There's another dude downstairs, I know, who likes to crawl around crawl around on his belly boo. But I don't think he can come upstairs because his legs are broke, so he can't climb in the vent. But there will be a shitload more dudes. There he is, once I kill this guy. Come on. No, you prick, don't run away! You little fucker. There we go. He got fucked. Grab his stuff. Uh, that sucks. There it is. See, look, the other thing about Kinesis is awesome is, once you, like, pick something up in your Kinesis field, you can hit A and collect it. Like, that line rack was still all the way down there on the first floor, but once it, like, connected with my Kinesis, I can instantly pick it up. There's also more stasis right there, so I'm gonna fucking go to town stasising people, when inevitably more dudes show up. Like, I know Stay's gonna. Dudes? Are they back upstairs? Are they... I know there's more, because the thing's still going beep, beep, beep. Whoa! Oh! oh! Uh, uh. Short term solution. See ya! Oh god. They will just come through the vents and come upstairs, but it gives you plenty of time to like run away. Depending on wherever the fuck they pop out, I guess. Guys! Oh, come on now. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Taking forever. Let's go. Thank God all day, fools. It's not true. I have like plenty of time today. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Holy fuck. Boosh. Is there more? I'm only punching him because I have infinite fucking stasis or, you know, whatever. There's more downstairs. Is that it? Oh, God. I thought I missed him for a second. Crack. 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 Come on, this gun is really big. You think it'd like break a fucking limb by now? Oh my god, Jesus Christ, stasis again, fool. Bam, bam, there we go. Fucking mash to bits, bro, look at that. Fucking slow mo up in this bitch. That's pretty good. Is there, is everyone dead? No? Guys? Can we fucking put this stupid thing now with the lights? <clears throat> the words I was trying to say was, can we end the little, like, magic fucking alarm protocol? But apparently there's still a dude somewhere. Show yourself! God damn it. There he is. Really? Fucking Crawly? Come on, Crawly. Just get your head squished. Asshole. Guy was hiding in the bathroom. It's about fucking time. Quarantine was also the word I was looking for. Holy shit. That was pretty fucking top-notch for impossible there. And once again, stasis proves how useful it really is by just completely decimating everything because they were all standing still. I don't know how long that took. It felt like it took a while. If it didn't take a while, good. If it did take a while, well then I guess it was pretty boring because it was me running around the room shooting people. But you know what? Fucking first part, I was like, bam, informative, information, knowledge, left and right. I'll tell you everything you need to know. And then second part was like, well, I, I told them all that already. What? You think I'm fucking made of information? Well, I'm not. I'm made of guts and blood and shit. There's a heart in there somewhere, but it's cold and black. But it's also filled with ammo. God damn. Fucking ammo heart over here, dude. Come on. Get behind it. That's what they'll start calling me from now on. I'm trying to fucking explore all the rooms down here. I'm losing my bearings. Oh, I got so flustered. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, dude. Fucking audio logs? Video logs? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. I mean ammo. I said health, but I meant ammo. I'm losing my mind. I'm not so sure of that. Oh, dude, we they're fucking talking? Yeah, I don't give a shit. You're distracting me. So, what's going on with you? That's cool. Dude, we're just doing- Oh, shit! No, okay, we're good. What was that? More fucking ammo? Jesus. Okay, now we're all good, right? Alright, back to adventure. What is that? What? Some- Hmm? What? No. Okay. Huh? What? Oh, <laughs> I pushed the button. Dude, calm down, okay? It's just a video game. Here we go. Gonna go through the door. Next room. So far, this part, we did like two rooms. Room three. Oh, shit. I don't know. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking show off. I'm white. Mm, look at my muscles. Come on, that's just, that's just foolish now. <gasps> Sup, buddy? Oh, dude, is that a baby? Is it, mm, oh, mm, no. Baby goop, baby goop. <laughs> Look at this guy. Guy, there's a, there's a baby still behind you there. Ooh. That was icky. Ammo. Whew. And now we gotta go in the baby room? Come on. Seriously, where's this fucking thing? <laughs> I don't know where he is. He's gonna jump out and grab me. Oh, God. He leapt for me there. Holy shit and fuck! That guy took a lot oh my god, he's not dead yet! Are you serious? Ugh! Fuck me. You know what sucks about these babies is. So you uh the best thing to do with these assholes is like shoot their fucking tentacles off. Um as you can see it didn't fucking work at all there. Um but I used like 19 bullets, so that's good. But if they jump at you, that's an insta-kill, because that's actually an achievement. Like, when they leap at you, if you tap the A button to fucking throw them off, you always kill them, and if you do it actually ten times, it's an achievement. So, considering how much fucking ammo that took, and how much health he took when he grabbed me, I probably should've just let him do that from the fucking beginning, because at least I would've saved my bullets. Jesus, fuck. The, uh, the line guns, or the plasma- God 
Damn it! Oh god! Yeah, line gun. The line gun's really good in those guys. I am fucking getting pooed on! Because you can hit all three of their tentacles at once. Boosh! Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Oh my god! Fucking babies everywhere! If I didn't have this fucking achievement already, I'd get it right here! Good lord! But again, thankfully, because you can kick them pretty quickly, and I have the tank suit, I only lost pretty much like two health from that whole ass blasting that I just received, which is pretty fucking significant. Good lord. It's okay, we made it. We made it through the fucking dark times. Nothing but smooth sailing from here on out, baby. It's not true. I told you this would happen. I told you last part and you didn't listen. You said, no, Michael, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Babies can happen. That's what. It only takes one dick and one vagina and then you get a baby. <laughs> and they eat your face off. Oh, I got one of the things right. I need to blow up the fucking thing. I love the elaborate oh, fucking like procedure I'm going through to move some sticks there. from in front of a door. Cause that's what it is. There's some sticks, dude. Some fucking sticks. We're halfway there though. Oh shit! More babies. There's more babies? I hear something. It could be babies. The thing that sucks, oh god, about the line gun and the babies, doesn't really suck, but since you can't, god damn it, since you can't spin the, uh, the, the beam, if they're, like, on the side of the wall, the line gun is fucking worthless for them. Jesus. Fucking stomp these guys just because I used so much fucking ammo. There being a stasis thing right here, at least I can save some. Bam! Bam! Squish! Squish! I wish they had more of like a reaction when you hit them because like you do damage but even stomping them doesn't do shit like it doesn't like interrupt their moves or like they don't like, get knocked back or anything like it does damage but until you like fucking crush their limbs off there's like no like physical reaction to you hitting them all right so we got half of the fucking explosives swing by the store so I can I don't really need to dump off anything except for the schematic but I might as well because there's no point in carrying it so now I can buy a flamethrower that I'll never buy. Hooray! Uh, yeah, pretty good still on health. I don't know why I didn't heal using the small one. I guess I might as well. Kind of silly not to. There's enemies later that do way more damage. They're like the black versions of Necromorphs. They're just all like, like dark black. And they fucking deal like fucking five times more damage. That's a number I just pulled out of thin air. But they deal a lot more fucking damage. Um, I imagine those are gonna tear my asshole apart on impossible. Hey, buddy, what's up? No, no, Stevens! God damn it, dude, he had no fucking guts left. Look, how the hell was he even standing up? That is a bold man. Pick up the fucking line racks. There we go. Not being cooperative. Ignorant Isaac over here. Oh, fucking shit. Those are more babbles. There are babbles in this room. Whenever you see the, uh, okay, I was, I was telling them that and you stopped me. Whenever you see this little thingy, that's the kinesis symbol, so it means you can, like, move whatever the fuck is attached to it. So just drag that shit out of the way. Shit out of the way. Here's a node door. Hopefully there's not garbage behind it, but there's a good chance there will be. Well, audio log's a bunch of garbage. Gold semiconductor is worth three grand. What we got, what we got, what we got. Fucking six bullets is worth like 600. That's worth fucking five grand, which is nice. So, yeah, it was a, it's worth a little less than 10 grand. But I did get a large health pack, which is nice because I don't have the schematic for it yet. So you can't buy, I can't buy large health packs yet. So, that one's not really too much of a loss. I think it's probably like nine grand worth of stuff in there. <clears throat> Excuse moi. Uh, I do have no power nodes left, though. Oh my god, shut the hell up, Jesus Christ! Like, I'll let the audio logs go and shit, and like, play, but good lord! I'll put a fucking limit on it, man! That guy was just fucking prattling on! The line gun is great for fucking hitting like, a bunch of people at once. You can, you can fucking whale so many dudes with it. Bam! See, like that, like, I, am I hitting him? Am I hitting him? I guess I'm hitting him because like, blood's splurting out, but besides his arm coming off there, he's still alive! Really? Fucking squish his fucking head! He's- Jesus! This guy is a fucking trooper, man! There we go. Fucking finally. God damn, dude. The stomp is 
fucking shit. Thanks, Stasis. The more you know. Look at this. I used all my fucking Stacy McGacy. That's why I'm gonna run back. Refilly McGilly. See what I did there? Now you know. You're getting the hang of it. Okay, we turned the lights off. Nope, they're back on. Okay. That's fine. Keep on trucking. Dude, power cells or batteries. They're big. Pop them right in there. They're also magnetized, so they magically just get sucked to the wall. Pretty standard shit in the future. Though, apparently, if you don't have Kinesis, uh, and you can't pick one up. Oh, look at that. They hid some fucking ammo over there on the ledge? Are you kidding me? What is this, Bioshock? Hiding shit on ledges? What? They were the first people to do that. I don't know if you knew that, but... Who's excited for Bioshock Infinite? Oh, uh, oh, I don't know. This guy? Also excited for Dead Space 3. May have mentioned that, but Bioshock Infinite's another one. That's a good one. Oh my god, I'm scared. Where are they? Holy shit. I hate these guys. Get off the wall, dick face! Oh, there's a guy over there, too. He did get off the wall, though. I'll give him that. His fucking head came right off. Where'd he go? Saw you over there. Get the hell out here. Fucking sneaky Pete. Oh, I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, God. Funny enough, like, all the times I played Dead Space, I never really fucking did this. Like, stomp them and try and save ammo uh, by using stasis. I, I never really thought about it, which is weird, because it's, it's not the same thing, but it's pretty similar to... Uh, to downing people in Resident Evil 4 and then trying to like stab them a few times because essentially it's just get in some melee hits uh, while they can't hit you back in an attempt to save ammo so it's a different way of doing it but essentially it's the same deal and maybe just replaying Resident Evil 4 lately gave me the idea again but I never really did it the first time I played Dead Space and now you're probably pissed because it's probably boring as shit to watch and they're like why the fuck are you doing it now because I don't want to see it anymore it sucks you suck I'm like yeah you're right <clears throat> All right, these are um, <clears throat> these parts of the game are when God damn it, ugh, or when you go into vacuums and you have like X amount of time to breathe. So your your suit starts at seventy seconds of air, but you can increase it at the upgrade stations at the workbenches. You can increase your air time, but it's a total fucking waste of nodes. There's no reason you should ever fucking increase your your air on your first game, like before you do a new game plus, because you don't have to. You can easily get through every single part with the 70 seconds they give you. And then even if you can't, there's fucking air cans you can find or even buy that give you like an extra 30 seconds or 60 seconds when you use them. There's only like one part that I'm aware of in the entire game that I'll use a can, like I know I'm gonna use it, and that's because they give it to you for free right before you fucking go outside. And I think it's like, it's the next, it's in chapter three or four. There's some fucking stuff, give me that shit. I think there's dudes floating around here, but they may show up after I do something. Pick up the fucking health, dude. Damn it. Urgh! I hate when you have, like, little fucking instructional menus open, because then you can't pick shit up. Um, but the other thing with the air is, there's also, just like the stasis things, there's, there's, like, a, um, oxygen tanks, like, attached to the wall that will refill your air permanently. So, if you're in a section that requires you to, like, run around and look around and shit, you just gotta keep doubling back to the air and refilling your air. So... Don't fucking put power nodes into air. It's absolutely insane. Especially not impossible. If you're gonna put anything into the rig, you might as well put it into your, um, your health, not your air. Oh, there we go. Now we're gonna blow shit up. Oh, fucking ghoulies, and I just jumped right towards him. Good thing he jumped away like an idiot. I'm gonna go ahead and not fight these guys, because there's no reason to. Oh, jump down. Fucking, oh my god. Warning what? Get the fuck out! Uh, I'm not gonna waste bullets. I'm not gonna waste bullets. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> okay, good, we made it. Fuck you, bitches. Yeah. Dude, when I'm gonna dabble with guys, I'm not gonna dabble. Yeah, I mean, they could drop health and shit like that, but. Oh, Sonny. I missed. I shot right where his dick would be if he had one. These guys have evolved. They're smart. They don't have dicks, so they got rid of their, their biggest weak, weak point. You gonna drop anything? You gonna drop anything? No, you're not, but I will take a medium air can. See, someone pointed out in the comments of the last video saying that if you squish guys, they drop something. They absolutely, absolutely do not. Every guy does not drop something. Look, I squished that guy like a hundred times. He didn't drop anything. That air can I got from the from the, the locker, as you just saw. Some people said that only guys on easy drop something every time you kill them. I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe it is. Maybe guys always drop something if you play on easy. But I'm playing on impossible, and not every single enemy drops something. As just demonstrated, and as I mentioned in the first part. 
So there, that's that's it. I don't know. I'm just stating a fact. This part's been pretty uh pretty low key. I got I got fucking jumped by babies. Oh, there's dudes right there too. He's probably gonna jump down. Oh my god! Jesus! Holy shit! I did not know he could do that. Oh god! Why oh, you scare me? Oh, I didn't reload this thing. I said reload, not reload. Oh, also he's not dead yet. How about now? No, he's still not dead. Yeah, he is. No, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, he's dead. Holy shit! That's the sound that the line gun makes when you reload it. We're almost back to to blow that fucking thing out of the water. It's gonna be an explosion like you can't believe. You won't believe it because it's unbelievable. Also, there's something out there. Jesus! These things suck too because you don't really want to shoot them because they waste fucking ammo. Like they're little asshole parasite things. Uh, but they will jump the fuck all over you. So sometimes you just want to stand still and already be tapping the A button like I am right now and just wait. Okay, what the hell are they doing with that body? I have no idea why they're going after that body. Uh, I don't know if they can infect the body or anything. I really don't know or they're just retarded. But what I was going to say was you can stand still and they'll jump on top of you and just be ready to mash the A button because they do very, very, very little damage. But you do have to fucking kill them because they will fuck you up if you, like, let them fuck around. Yeah, it doesn't even look like they hurt you if you, like, are ready to shake them off one at a time. Convenient that there's a stasis thing right there because you can stomp them a little bit. You can also pick up bodies and, like, squish them with bodies and boxes and stuff. That's about the most useful thing you can do as far as damaging people with Kinesis. But... Again, if not, just stand there and uh, mash the A button. And then you win. Are you ready for this? We're gonna hook this fucking thing up and blast this motherfucker. Oh shit! And then we're done. Really? Are you serious? It just fucking melted? Like, no big explosion, no nothing. It just went space melt. I'm so glad we went through all of that to get all that shit. Look at this, we're fucking rolling and stuff, baby! Rolling, rolling, rolling. Alright, sell me friggin' gold conductor. Like, medium air can, I'll put that away, because it's a piece of shit. I mean, I guess I should carry one, so naturally, I won't. Um, yeah, pretty much, like, this is, like, what I need for stock, like, ammo. The next store I hit, if I have more ammo than this, I'll start storing ammo. But having 25 slots, there's no reason not to carry extra. Extra being like, you know, I'd like to keep 75 shots with the plasma cutter, which is way overkill. But you can do it, so why the hell not? Oh, that was Nicole. Whoops. By the way, that was Nicole there. I hit the B button and canceled it because I was talking. I didn't want her to talk over me. But she was like, Isaac, come help me. Oh, come find me, Isaac. Basically, it's like the gist of it. Hammond knew he was there. Bam, boosh, bam. Look at that. All through the magic of Kinesis. That's the most useful thing about it. What's that? Monsters? What? Probably run into some more babies soon. Oh, we're in the fucking morgue. We gotta find the cappy. Oh, fuck. And there is babies. There's babies. There's babies. There's babies. There's babies. I missed them. Oh, my God. I'm scared. How many are there? How many are there? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Get on the floor, baby. Get on the floor. BAM! Oh, there's another one, isn't there? Yeah, there's two. There's two babies. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that baby's fucked. That's a fucked baby. Whew. Jesus. Multiples of these things running around are fucking scary. If you keep a distance, they won't lunge at you. It's only when you get close, but they'll just shoot projectiles from their little tentacles. So... You know, they're, they're, they, they're pretty easy to dodge, too, the projectiles, as long as you're still running around. Um, if you're standing still, they're going to whack you, but as long as you're, like, strafing left to right, it's very easy to dodge. But having two of those guys in the room at the same time is quite frightening, so I was just trying to get both of them <clears throat> in front of me at the same time. I also was trying to squish that. It is a fucking mess in here, by the way. Holy shit. God damn it. He's just <laughs> knocking things over. Isaac is a fucking animal. Like, I understand it's like kind of everything's gone to shit and who cares if I knock shit over, but like, you'd think he's probably like that with Kinesis anyway. Like, what if it wasn't all gone to fuck and you're just walking through, he's like, Oh, I got it! Hang on! Oh, shit! I'll, I'll bring it- Oh, fuck! Like, people have to go nuts with Kinesis in the future. 
Oh god! Holy shit! Oh god, I did not know that guy was a spitter. Holy shit, he's fucking spitting goobs at me. You want to try and line guys up when you're using the line gun, because you have the line gun, and you want to line them up. Motherfucker, I forgot to buy a fucking note at the store. Wait, didn't I get one? Yeah, I did. Well, problem solved. There was a problem on the spot, and then I solved it on the spot. This is pretty fucking sweet. Shitload of line gun ammo, uh, line rack schematic, which is very fucking useful, because now I can at least buy this ammo if I'm ever running low on it. But definitely didn't, again, make up $10,000. I did not get $10,000 worth of ammo in here. But I did get the line rack. So, as I said, I still will open every single door. It's just they're a lot less rewarding than, uh, than Dead Space 2. Boop, 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 boop. I think we're almost done with the chapter here. Hope so. Hope so. Don't want to be here forever. I just shot a microscope. There's a guy behind me as well. Bam, bam. Oh, God. Turn around, fool. There we go. Look at this guy crawling in. Little crawly. Little crawly crawlerson. Mmm. 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 We are just fucking doing top notch here, gents. Top notch. I remember playing Impossible uh, the first time I played Dead Space. Or, you know, like, within the first few run throughs of Dead Space. It was the first time I played the Impossible difficulty. I thought I was hard as shit. As I mentioned in my Dead Space 2 Let's Play, it's nothing compared to hardcore. You can save it as much as you want, man. Who cares if you die a thousand times? You can save it whenever you want, man! Look at this. Why do you always sneak up behind me like that? There we go. See, that's some prime fucking line gunning right there. You just tear through both people. This guy's not dead, but I'm just gonna squish him to finish him off. You wanna get squished? Too bad, you're gonna get squished. Little squishers. Little squishy squishers. Pew! Pew! Oh, this is, this is one of the oxygen tank things I was talking about. So, if you're ever out of oxygen, so I'm assuming this place will get uh, depressurized at some point and days be no air, you can just run over here and be like, and you get all your airs back. Then you can breathe again real good. Then you breathe every day! I think, I think this Let's Play might go well for like a part or a chapter per part. Uh, I don't know if I'll do one a week. Because that still will take fucking, like, 12 weeks if it takes me 12, 13 parts or whatever. But we'll see. We'll see. So far, so good. What's this guy doing? He's doing stuff. Oh, she's cutting his guts. Hey, lady! Oh, that's bad. You're going to get a... Hmm. Do you think she needs a band-aid? No, okay. Moving on. Hey, let's let's pick up this text log and not read it. That was fun, right? What's that? Oh, it's locked. What's that? Oh, it's open. What's that? Oh, it's an audio log. Oh, dude, Dr. Kine? Awesome. Jesus, baby, Captain. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Damn it, dude. Babies. Babies are taking more shots than, uh, than the regular necromorphs, dude. Just because I'm missing the fucking tentacles. Still going. I'm just giving you background noise. Audience, Dr. Kine, Dr. Kine, audience. There's Dr. Dr. Mercer in there somewhere. I know, because I read his name in the text. But now we're in the morgue. I think we were in the morgue before as well, but this is the super morgue. So, take a second to look around here. There's, like, dead bodies everywhere. Because, one, we're in the morgue, and two, we're on a goddamn alien... Well, we're on a spaceship infested by alien things that are eating everybody and turning them into monsters. But, I point this out because there's dead bodies everywhere. There's the captain that we've been looking for this whole part. And there's a necromorph that I'm not sure... I don't know what it's called, but it eats dead bodies and turns them into necromorphs. He's also going to turn them into the black necromorphs that I talked about that are, like, way fucking tougher. And he'll take... I think he takes more bullets and he deals way more damage. But I'm gonna fucking stasis them both because if you don't kill that other little thing that's gonna run around He'll fucking grab all the corpses in this fucking room and start bringing them all back to life So then you not have to fight two of these guys. You have to fight like fucking ten dudes. It's not really ten, but it's a lot So I want to blast the shit out of him first like so It's also kind of hard to tell when he dies too because he doesn't have any limbs So he won't die like the regular necromorphs like you know his fucking arms will get cut off and shit. You just gotta, like, shoot the fuck out of him until he dies. Like I just did. So, 
don't be afraid to use a lot of bullets here. Just fucking lay into them until they stop moving. Because, like, he'll bring this guy back to life, this guy back to life. There's, like, a fucking corpse over there somewhere. He'll bring back to life this thing. You can get, like, four or five enemies in this room and really get your ass kicked. Ham also, Hammond wants me to find stuff out. So, let's pick up all this shit. Get the goobs. More health. I guess I got the dude's rig. I don't know. I'm just fucking... I'm following orders, man. By orders, I mean this little marker on the floor. It tells me to go this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Good job, guys. This room's locked. Damn. Stasis around? Stasis also starts getting a lot less frequent as you progress through the game. Like, it's all over the place in the beginning, and it is not all over the place only a few chapters in. Like, we're still only on chapter two here, and there's still plenty of stasis, but, like, there's a few chapters where there may only be, like, one stasis. So, be careful, kids. You got goods? You got goods? Give me the money! Give me the money! Yeah, you gave it up. Like I knew you would, ho! Yay! Yeah. Reloading. Weapon. Whoa! Whoa! Five. Like right there, he took five fucking shots to take his leg off. Oh my god, like another five to take his arm off. He's still not dead. Fucking 12 goddamn bullets to kill this guy. Now, you know, I'm gonna upgrade the plasma cutter so it won't take 12 by the end of the game, but it's pretty goddamn tough considering we're only in chapter two and he took 12 shots to kill. Thankfully, those guys aren't that frequent this early on. Somehow, Later, that's like they're the, the only enemies in the game. Are you done? Exactly that's it? No? Okay. Don't call me, talk for 10 seconds, and then take a five minute fucking pause. Whatever is happening around here, I'm fucking busy, dude. I got shit to do. I can definitely put some line in bullets away. You spread to the colony. It's some form of alien life. You're an alien life. I am just fucking obliterating this guy. I almost feel bad, but I don't. We've got bigger problems. Ship's engines are offline and all right, so we'll game. put away 12 of these and I'll carry 75 of these for now. Pulse uh, pulse fucking rounds. I should actually probably just sell pulse rounds. Because I'm never going to use the pulse gun. Not in this Let's Play anyway. Or not in this game. Uh, so yeah, actually I'll just fucking $625! Dude, I'm rich. $625 rich. But I can buy, uh, three nodes, even without selling anything else. So, boop, boop, boop. Now I do a little upgrading next time I pass a bench, which should be soon, because I think we're right at the end of the chapter. That's going to be the slowest damn part, too, in the Let's Play. This part was pretty slow in itself. But when I'm sitting at the bench going like, oh, where do I upgrade? Hmm. Although it's pretty much only going to be the, uh, the power node power node. It's losing my fucking mind. The, um, plasma cutter and the line gun. And I don't see a fucking bench here. So that'll have to be the next fucking part. Oh, there was a store back there that I was at, and then there's a store one room later. The fuck's the point of that? I don't know, but that part's over. Still did pretty good. Got some damage. Took some damage. Used some bullets, but not bad for a impossible run. Chapter 2's done. Intensive care unit. More like Intensive scare unit! Somebody mentioned that in the comment section in the last video, and they were like, you should have said that. And I was like, damn it, I should have said that. Because I said nothing. I said intensive let's play unit, which was stupid. And intensive scare unit's stupid too. But it's like a smart stupid. Course correction? Alright, this is where shit pops off. We're gonna do some correcting, we're gonna do some coursing, do some chapter 3, and we got the fucking CCC and a 3. Chapter 3, course correction, 3 C's, the number 3. It's all coming together, right? It's like the Mayan calendar, except we passed that. So, it's like the new Mayan calendar. It's like the Ma Mayan calendar 2.0. But that'll be next time.